Alright, we're putting some onion on the grill and just for a little surprise, we're going to go with a non-traditional jalapeno pepper. You, you know, normally it wouldn't even have peppers and if it did, it would have like a green or a red pepper. But we're going with jalapeno just to give you a little something special. Okay, after about two minutes, our onions and jalapenos have softened up just a little bit. We're adding the potatoes that we cooked the other day with our corned beef. All I've done is dice them up. We're going to warm these through and put just a little color on them. All right, we're going to move these vegetables out of the way. Make sure we got a little oil on our griddle here. We're going to put our corned beef that we've diced up and the mustard and everything and a little bit of fat. It's all in there, all that flavor, all that goodness. And now remember, this corned beef's already cooked, so we don't really have to cook it. All we're doing is warming it up, putting just a little bit of crust on it. Now it's got a lot, plenty of salt. What we're going to do, we're going to put some black pepper on this. All right, after about a minute or so, we're going to start mixing this together. After we get it all mixed together, we're going to take and throw down some farm fresh eggs. These happen to be farm fresh, free range, locally sourced, all that good stuff. Which that's why the yolks have that real dark color to them. And they taste good too. And the only thing left to do at this point is to plate this up and eat. Sorry I didn't film the uh, eating part today, or the taste test. And I know I normally I try to do that, but I just had some technical difficulties today. Appreciate you stopping by.